In this video, we're going to be building the home page for our pattern library. Now, this comes under the page concept under Brad Frost's atomic design principles and is a unique page which you wouldn't find as a common structure when comparing other pages to it. The home page is unique as it's going to have components in a certain order which you wouldn't normally find on other pages or maybe content that you wouldn't find appropriate for other pages. As a home page is often the first introduction to a website or an application, it tends to have a lot of introduction copy around the company or the brand introducing who they are and what they stand for. So we're not going to cover too much about how to build a page in this video. We're just going to kind of go over the concepts and how you would apply them when building your own page in your pattern library. So I've built the home page out as a React component, which accepts props similar to how we structured in the previous video when building the blog post template. Now I'm using a React fragment as the wrapping element. This is because the homepage shouldn't really have any global wrapper or component for the homepage. It's just a series of smaller organisms that are making up the page and we won't have any specific styles to this. See, when you create a post template, you might have uh, styles which apply directly to that template, but when building a generic page or any page in your website, you shouldn't really have styles attached to a single page, more you should have them attached to a component or a template. So the home page is made up of the header, banner, carousel, and footer, but we could go ahead and drop in whatever organisms or molecules we wanted to in the future. And the knobs file, again, is a large amount of JSON data, which you might have from a CMS or from say a GraphQL API. And then finally, we're using all of the data in a story file, which is then generating our homepage in our pattern library. Now, one thing I haven't done, which I should do is set the pages to have a pipe character and then the title of the page. So it groups it under pages. And now we have a homepage in our system, which people can go ahead and look at and see how it would be constructed. Now we could go ahead and replace some of this data with a um, more um, specific JSON, which would be attached to our final application. And we could even bring in data from an external source in our pattern library using an Apollo provider, which we'll cover in a future lesson. But I just kind of wanted to go over how you'd add in a page to your system. Again, it's very similar to how we added in a post template. Um, so if you had specialist pages for your website, such as a login page or a user register page or an account page, then this is where you'd want to be including them. And the home page is a great example of this because the home page is going to be quite a unique page in your uh, final application. So we've now covered all of Brad Frost's atomic design principles. We can move on to the sixth add on to the principles, which is particles. So in the next video, we're going to be using the Apollo provider as a particle to make a query to a GraphQL API and bring in data to our pattern library.